Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. Be the difference in someone's life today. Phone 1800 257 296 or visit catholicmission.org.au. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have revealed yourself as the way to the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You have poured out on your people the spirit of truth. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are the good shepherd leading us to eternal life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and, and on earth peace, peace to people, people of good will. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless you, you we adore you, we glorify you. We, glorify you. we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, O oh God, God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten God. Son, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel together at Shechem. Then he called the elders, leaders, judges, and scribes of Israel, and they presented themselves before God. Then Joshua said to all the people, If you will not serve the Lord, choose today whom you wish to serve, whether the gods that your ancestors served beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are now. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. The people answered, We have no intention of deserting the Lord our God, who brought us and our ancestors out of the land of Egypt, the house of slavery, who worked those great wonders before our eyes and preserved all along the way we traveled and among all the peoples through whom we journeyed. We too will serve the Lord, for he is our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, boy. 
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Give way to one another in obedience to Christ. Wives should regard their husbands as they regard the Lord, since as Christ is the head of the church and saves the whole body, so is a husband the head of his wife. And as the church submits to Christ, so should wives to their husbands in everything. Husbands should love their wives just as Christ loved the church and sacrificed himself for her to make her holy. He made her clean by washing her in water with the form of words, so that when he took her to himself, she would be glorious, with no speck or wrinkle or anything like that, but with holy and faultless. In the same way, husbands must love their wives as they love their own bodies. For a man to love his wife is for him to love himself. A man never hates his own body, but he feeds it and looks after it. And it is that way that Christ treats the church, because it is his body and we are its living parts. For this reason, a man must leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two will become one body. This mystery has many implications, but I am saying it applies to Christ and its church. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. After hearing his doctrine, many of his followers said to him, This is intolerable language. How could anyone accept it? Jesus was aware that his followers were complaining about it and said, Does this upset you? What if you should see the Son of Man ascend to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life. The flesh has nothing to offer. The words I have spoken to you are spirit, and they are life. But there are some of you who do not believe, for Jesus knew from the outset those who did not believe, and who it was that would betray him. He went on, This is why I told you that no one could come to me unless the Father allows him. After this, many of his disciples left him and stopped going with him. Then Jesus said to the twelve, What about you? Do you want to go away too? 
Simon Peter answered, Lord, who shall we go to? You have the message of eternal life, and we believe, we know that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel, we hear the conclusion of the Bread of Life discourse. And here, Jesus speaks about himself. He speaks about the Eucharist. Now we might ask, what was Jesus' message that so upset his hearers? That made them so uncomfortable that they had to walk away? Jesus speaks of himself as the bread come from heaven. He goes on to say, whoever eats my body and drinks my blood has eternal life. For my flesh is through food and my blood through drink. As the crowd walks away, Jesus turns to his disciples and he says, and what about you? Are you going to walk away too? Then Peter responded, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. Now, this is one of the clearest and greatest profession of faith in the gospel. It goes to the heart of who Jesus was. He was not just a prophet. He was not just a healer. He was not just a teacher. He was also the Holy One of God. And later, first Christians will come to believe that he was, in fact, the Son of God. So though Jesus healed and fed people's bodies, Jesus was more concerned about nourishing their minds and their hearts with what Peter called the words of eternal life. His words truly bring life to people. But Jesus did not only give us his words. In the Eucharist, he also gave us his body and blood. The church teaches us that the Eucharist is the source and the summit of our Christian life. So Jesus is fully and truly present in the Eucharist. Like the crowd in the gospel, it can be hard for people to deal with. Some may feel more comfortable to see the Eucharist just as a symbol, but it is more than that. In the consecrated body and bread and wine, Jesus is fully, truly, and really present, body, soul, and divinity. So like the disciples, when life overwhelms you, when you are lacking in strength and courage, lacking in peace and joy, look to the Jesus present in the Eucharist, because in him we live and move and have our being. And so now we profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Brothers and sisters, God is the source of all life. Let us bring our needs before the God of all. That husbands and wives will be strengthened in their love and care for each other. In faith we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick will rest in Christ who comforts the afflicted. In faith we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That this community, nourished at the Eucharistic table, will choose to serve God and each other. In faith we pray. 
Lord, hear our prayer. God most holy, in Jesus you have revealed the depths of your love for us. Hear these prayers that we may follow your message of eternal life. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being, and while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Oh. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Brian, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and, and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace and love of Christ. Peace and love of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say your word and my soul shall be healed.
Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I'm Brian Mascord. I'm the Bishop of Wollongong. I invite you to consider, if you are able to, to provide financial assistance to help extend the 50-year legacy of Mass for You at Home.